Well, Topaz Photo AI has always been a good software, but this most recent update has really made it a great piece of software. Hey everybody, my name is Austin James Jacks. I'm a landscape photographer here in Southern Utah. In today's video, really excited to show you guys the most recent Topaz Photo AI update, which is a pretty major update. Now there are a lot of updates to Topaz Photo AI. A lot of those updates are just bug fixes that aren't really noteworthy or worthy of making a YouTube video for. However, this update, which flew right over my head, uh, is something that added some really, really great features. I recently uh, sat down, had a meeting with one of the developers from Photo AI. Uh, he walked me through some of the latest and greatest stuff that they've released and are working on for Photo AI. They're really working on trying to make Photo AI the best all-in-one app. They want to, over time, phase out those three apps, I think, and overall make the Photo AI the best app to use, a great combination of the three, which they're doing a really great job. So the first thing that they've tackled in this last week's update is making the noise reduction better. Now, if you guys have been around or watched any of my YouTube videos for long, you guys probably know that I always recommended uh, Denoise Sharpening Gigapixel over Photo AI because they give better results. Now, for sharpening Gigapixel, I will still say I think you get a little bit better results, especially in sharpen. But um, as of this update, I honestly think that Photo AI does a better job denoising than uh, Topaz Denoise AI. So Photo AI is well worth it just for that fact that most landscape photographers, uh, wildlife photographers, people like me, uh, we're mostly using it for the denoise. Of course, the sharpen is nice. I'm not using Gigapixel a lot, but I know a lot of you guys are. Um, so. It's definitely up to you. I think the software is headed in the right direction though. Anyways, I wanna show you guys what is new in this 1.3.7 update, show you guys why I think that Topaz Photo AI is on the come up. It's really becoming a really great piece of software and why I think that it's better than Topaz Denoise AI. Let's go ahead and jump right in there. I'll show you guys what I think. June 1st, 2023 here, the brand new update for Topaz Photo AI is here. Uh, they've taken some stuff out of beta and made it for the permanent edition. Uh, it doesn't say beta anymore. Most notably, um, some of the things they talk about, this is, uh, by the way, the uh, little post that they've made on their website um, from one of the developers here, that software engineer. He's talked about some of the changes that are here. Um, I just want to walk through those really quick before I show you guys the real example. Most importantly, the biggest change that you're going to see that's going to make this software really, really good um, is the remove noise V2 option. So essentially, you can see here they've showed an example, which I'm going to show some of my examples in just a second here, show you how it works. But on their examples, you see original photo, the original remove noise. This is how you would always be able to remove the noise in their software uh, prior to this update. And then they've now added this V2 version to remove the noise. Now, to be completely honest with you guys, I didn't even know about this. The marketing really didn't make it clear at all um, when I got the emails that there's an update. Um, and like most other people, when they email there's an update, a lot of times I just assume there's a bug fix. But this one, when I actually talked to one of their developers, he was able to tell me about it and I was able to try it with him right there. And it was it was actually quite impressive. I was really impressed. Now, if you guys have been following my channel for long, you know that I've always recommended Denoise, Sharpening Gigapixel over Photo AI, but I think the Photo AI is really quickly catching up. I think that the denoising in Photo AI is, is just as good now as it is in Denoise. So you can see we've got this V2 option here. You've got a couple different options. Um, again, just like how there was normal and strong before, there's now a normal V2 and strong V2, as well as the normal and strong. There's really no reason why you wouldn't want to use the V2 models. I've tested tons and tons of photos. You always wanna use the V2. It's always working better for me. So you can see overall, just the remove noise working a lot better. This is like a monkey or something. You can see it looks much better. This is like clothing or texture or something. You can see it looks a lot better on the V2. Um, and there's a couple other fixes. They did some stuff with face recovery, um, some stuff with autopilot. Um, there's some downscaling stuff. Just, there's a bunch of stuff here. Nothing, like I said, that I think is really that notable other than the V2 option. Um, and then they've talked about a few things that they're working on, but that's enough of that. Let's go ahead and jump into the examples, show you guys what they mean. So I'm here now in the Topaz Photo AI 1.3.7. 
newest update as of June 1st, uh, 2023. If you're watching this months in the future, there's probably even better updates, but this is the update that we have for the beginning of summer here. So um, I've already loaded this photo in. This is one of my favorite examples to use just because it's so noisy, as you can see, and it shows off a face so we can use recover faces. And uh, there's just a lot of elements in this photo. There's some stuff that's supposed to be blurry and some stuff that's supposed to be sharp. So it's a great example. I have a couple other examples too, so bear with me. Now, first thing, we've got remove noise. So we open this box. Now you can see, like we mentioned, we've got normal V2 and strong V2 in addition to normal and strong. All these settings that it's chosen, the software has automatically picked all these settings. You can see it's using autopilot settings, the green circle selected the strong V2. Now on this photo in particular, there's not a major difference between strong and strong V2 unless you zoom in. I want to show you guys if I zoom in here, move around and let's actually go back to 200%. One thing you'll notice too is the preview is loading a lot quicker. One nice thing that I learned about Topaz Photo AI is that compared to the three individual apps, Photo AI is only loading out what's on your screen. Uh, so every time I move this, it just has to reload the section that's on my screen. Whereas when you're in Denoise, Gigapixel, or Sharpen, it reloads the whole image, which is why it takes so long to load that preview out. So um, what I want to show you here, Strong V2, you can see it looks pretty good. Now when I flip to Strong, there's a couple things. You can see it's still a little noisy in here, um, and it's creating a lot more like artifacting on my hat here, which should be smooth. There should not be texture there. My face doesn't quite look as good. Um, and it's certainly comparable. I mean, the original is quite good, uh, but the Strong V2 is even better in my opinion because you can see it's a little clearer in here. You don't have some of those spots. You don't have as much uh, going on up here on my beanie. So it is looking a little bit better, making this a lot more comparable to Denoise. I think that the remove noise is just as good, if not better here in Photo AI now than it is in Denoise. And of course, you can update the strength and detail sliders if you want. Strong V2 will replace Strong soon. So just know that if you're updating this in the future and you don't see V2, they might just change this to make the original Strong the new Strong V2. Um, so I'm gonna show you a couple other photo examples here. Okay, so I've got this photo loading up right now. Another thing I wanna talk about while this is loading is I've been actually really impressed with how fast the software has been. Uh, it certainly seems, and I don't know that this is factual or just something that it feels like, but it definitely feels like the software is getting a lot faster. So I'm not sure if they've done things on their end to make the software run a little bit quicker. I know it definitely runs a lot quicker than the three individual apps, which has been really nice because you can see as I'm talking here, it just loaded out just like that. Super, super quick. You can open and you can see it's selected normal as our model this time. The sky looks perfect. I love the way that looks. Foreground here is looking pretty good. Let's try and let's look at the normal and see what, how the normal does. Uh, just so we can have a little comparison again to show you kind of what the old photo AI could do versus what the new photo AI could do. Taking just a second here. And there it is. Yeah, you can see nowhere near the results. In the sky, it's still looking fine. It's clear that's easy noise reduction. But look in the foreground here. It's just, it's not really doing anything. Um, I mean, it's doing a little bit, sure. But like, it, it, it's not looking good. I'm not, not a huge fan. We'll flip to the normal V2, which is the new version, like I said. It's the new, uh, using new models. To be honest with you guys, I know nothing about software. I couldn't tell you how it works, but you can see it's doing a lot better job removing the noise. That cactus is looking pretty good. Our rock's looking pretty good. So it's doing a lot better. There's another example here where the V2 is working quite a bit better. Um, and this photo in particular, I just compared with Denoise AI. And to be honest with you, with the V2 model, it looks pretty much exactly the same, maybe slightly better here in Photo AI than it does in Denoise. So it's looking really, really nice. Let's look at one more photo example. All right, so this one's loading out again here. Now, one thing I did want to note, Sharpen has not been improved, but, uh, and I didn't, this information I'm about to give you is not something I got online. It's just something I got from talking to the developers, but they did tell me that they are working on doing some V2 models for Sharpen as well. Once those come out, it will be phenomenal. I'm really excited and looking forward to that. This is looking really good here. 
with the normal. And I guess since you guys on YouTube might be watching this in a lower resolution, we better zoom in, make it a little bit easier for you guys to see. Let's look at the normal as well. See how that looks. Um, and again, I'm just comparing the normal to the normal V2 because if you're like me, yeah, that's not looking nearly as good. We'll go to the V2 again. If you're like me, uh, you probably have been using denoise. Maybe you own photo AI, but you haven't been using it just because it's not quite as good. Yeah, it's looking a lot better here, removing a lot more noise. And overall, I'm liking the way it looks. Anyways, back to my point that I've been trying to make. If you are like me, you've probably been using denoise. Maybe you have photo AI like me and you haven't been using it because you think that denoise is better, which it certainly was. However, for noise reduction, I think photo AI is just as good, if not better as denoise now. It's looking great. Really like that. So there's a few examples for you. Like I said, when we're uh, in here, there is not, unfortunately, any adjustments to sharpen. None of these are any better than they were. I still think sharpen AI works a little better. So overall in that latest update, the biggest things are the normal and strong V2. They're really, really great. I like them quite a bit. Definitely give photo AI a try. If you've got the software, you've been sitting on it and you haven't been using it, or even if you don't have the software, it might be time to pick it up because I think photo AI is certainly headed in the right direction here. A lot of great stuff for us photographers to love. So the one thing that I find that photo AI is still lacking is that ability to do the comparison view that you can do in Denoise AI. The comparison view is honestly huge, especially for a landscape or a nature photographer like myself, because then you can compare multiple different models and see how they are working. Um, but other than that, honestly, the noise reduction is incredible. This V2 option, which will soon just replace the original option. I assume they'll take off V2, uh, but it's working a lot better, the model that they're using. I'm just really impressed with how quickly they were able to get out a new model that works a little bit better. Uh, and honestly, it just makes me excited for the future because I know they're going to continue to crank out better and better models, allowing you to get even better results. So if you guys don't have photo AI yet, it might be time to invest because like I said, there is still some stuff they need to work on, but the software is rapidly getting better uh, and it works really, really good already. And from what I've seen in this 1.3.7 update, I can tell that they are headed in the right direction. They are really gaining steam quick and it's going to be a software that is going to be essential for every photographer to have in their toolkit. If you do want to pick up the Topaz Photo AI software, I've included a link down below that you can use. Please make sure to use that. This video is not sponsored, but if you do use my link to pick up the software, I do get a really small kicker and that helps me to continue to create these free videos. Again, I want to thank you guys so much for being here. Uh, really hope that you guys liked this update and that this video was helpful for you. If you have any questions about the update, please feel free to let me know down in the comments below. Otherwise, we will see you guys next time. Thank you so much and have a good one. Bye-bye.